The management of the migratory floods is one of the greatest challenges we have to face here in the United Nations. And it is essential to place people at the center of our decisions, as it was promised one year ago in this precise meeting of the General Assembly. But how to make the transition from the words to the practice of dignity? We need concrete and feasible responses. Based on the cooperation between the countries, the states, international organizations, civilian society, respect in human rights. But mostly we must integrate the policies of migration, humanitarian assistance and development. One speaks very, very much of the reception of the refugees and of the migrants, but not so much of their integration, their full integration, and not so much of the causes of what is happening everywhere. And starting with the causes, the cooperation between nations and civilian societies must be much more effective in stabilizing political situations, solving conflicts, stimulating investment, skill, professional skill, and job creation in countries facing rather important economic and social challenges. We have been working on this preemptive strategy. Concerning integration, Portugal promotes the access of the children of all migrants to education and health care system, no matter they are regular or irregular, looking at the laws of the country. We have a reinforced protection of children without documents. Their deeds are confidential cannot be shared with the migration authorities. It's the only way of helping them to have full accept, access to both health care and learning. But when you speak of managing the refugee crisis, you look at the situation of those young people. They need to go on having their studies. And this means also university, polytechnic studies. And this access is the reason why a platform was born, the so-called global platform for Syrian students, led by the former president of the Republic of Portugal, Mr. Jorge Sampaio. And we've had already integrated many, many young Syrian students in universities in 10 countries. We even support the idea of creating a mechanism of a quick answer for superior education in emergency. When we think at Europe and our involvement in Europe, we accepted our duties, but we doubled the number of those that were received in our country, thinking of reasons of solidarity. And so we've been receiving thousands of people from everywhere through Turkey, Greece, Italy, Egypt, those lost in cooperation with the ACNO. We have strengthened our financial contributions for every organization and humanitarian agency acting on this field. So, I would say, today we saw a very important step, the protocol that was signed and the Declaration of New York. It's just a step. It's not the end of the way. It's a restart in a very, very difficult way, facing one of the most complex challenges of this time, but it's also a challenge not only to our aims, political, social, and economic aims, much to the principle, mostly to the principle of human dignity. That is the reason we are here. Thank you, Mr. President.